What up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you couldn't tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some food items today. I've been making this kind of regularly and it's super delicious and super yummy, so I thought I would share the recipe with you guys while I make it today for lunch. So it's really healthy, really tasty, pretty simple. You can make it ahead of time if you want to. Uh, you can prep all the ingredients and make it easy throughout the week to kind of make for dinner or lunch or whatever. So I'm making it for lunch right now. I'm really excited to eat it. It's delicious little veggie wraps with a really creamy, delicious sauce made out of some surprise ingredients. Just a heads up, this recipe was totally inspired by Elise from the channel Raw Alignment. So in the description, I'll leave a little link for that video. So if you wanna check out where I got the inspiration from, you can go check that out. Let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is start making the sauce so we can get that done ahead of time. So I'm adding in a half a cup of raw cashews that I soaked overnight and then I drained them and rinsed them as well as half of a zucchini that I peeled and roughly, roughly chopped. And the juice of one lemon is going in to the blender as well. And then I love garlic, so I'm putting in garlic, like three or four cloves of garlic, but if you don't like garlic, don't put that much in. You can also use garlic powder to make it easier. And then some hemp seeds, I just sprinkled some in. I'm really bad at measuring when I cook, so I don't really know exactly how much it was, but a couple tablespoons and some nutritional yeast, wasabi powder. Mm, this is where it's at, totally optional. If you don't like spicy, you don't like wasabi, just don't add this. I did like a teaspoon, but you can do less if you'd like. And then some tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce. So you can use soy sauce instead, a few tablespoons of that. Some coconut aminos, which are really, really good. I got mine at Trader Joe's, about a couple tablespoons of those too. Again, I don't really measure. And then I'll just put the lid on and blend it up. And at first it seems like it's not gonna blend. And it might not if you don't have a high speed blender, but just keep blending and scrape down the sides as necessary. And you'll see it starts to form this like delicious, thick sauce. That's me probably jamming out to some Princess Nokia. Let's be real. <laughs> and then just make sure to scrape down the sides as necessary. Kind of depends on the blender you have and all that. But I just added a little bit of water to mine. Totally just depends on how thick you want yours, and then some sriracha, and I think it, I added a little bit more tamari too, but yeah, and then blend it up. I think I blend it up for like three or four minutes until it's super smooth and creamy, and that's what it should look like, making a mess. <laughs> so yeah, I just pour mine into a container. It should be kind of thick, so it should look like that because you wanna be able to dip your wraps into it and not have the sauce fall off, so that's what it should look like. Put it in the fridge while you're making your wraps, First thing I'm doing is just prepping a bunch of veggies and you can use whatever you'd like, but I used some cucumber that I sliced into long strips. Same with some red pepper and some avocado. And I'm making this for both Casey and I, so I'm making like a bunch of it so we can make several wraps, but put whatever you want in it. You don't have to do avocado if you don't like it. You don't you just do what you like. So avocado is like my favorite part, so. And romaine, I love romaine and like my sushi rolls and stuff. So I just arrange it all on a plate like that so it's nice and easy to make our wraps. And then I also put in some alfalfa sprouts because I love sprouts, some eggplant hummus from Trader Joe's. And I use these like sushi wraps. They're technically not raw, but you can totally get raw ones. So, and then there's a shiny side and a not shiny side. You want the shiny side down. So I'm gonna show you how to wrap these. Very similar to wrapping sushi. So if you've been wondering how to make sushi, then watch this video, it's kind of similar. So I just took the hummus, which this is kind of optional, but it helps it kind of like roll and stay together and spread like a really thin layer down on the bottom and then topped it with my veggies that I prepared. So I did sprouts first, romaine, cucumber. You can do it in whatever order you want. This is just how I did it. And some red pepper. Mm, this is making me hungry again watching this. And some avocado. Like I said, this is like my favorite part of the whole thing. So I put a lot on my rolls. <laughs> and then I sprinkled some sesame seeds on for a little crunch, totally optional. And then to fold it up, like a little burrito style. So just grab the end and like tuck it. Casey's better at this, you'll see in a minute, he'll roll his, but tuck it like that and then just kind of like tightly roll it. It's pretty simple. That's how I roll my sushi too. I don't use like a roller mat. And then just add some water to that little edge there or hummus and roll it up and that's it. 
and then cut it into pieces. This first one I made, I cut into way too big of pieces and they were really hard to eat. I think I cut it into four pieces, which cut it into smaller pieces than that. But yeah, that's, that's, it's really simple. And then you just dip it in your sauce. So that's what they should look like. And again, put whatever you like in there. So this was Casey's. His was nice and loaded up and big. And I wanted to get him rolling it because he's a lot better at it. So he like spends time and like tucks it, makes it nice and tight which makes a really big difference in eating it because it doesn't fall apart as much. So take note, he's a lot better at it than I am. More water on that little edge to help seal it up. Yum. And then he's smart, he cut his into like smaller pieces. I think he did six, yeah. And I did four, which was smarter. I made another roll and cut it smaller later because I realized that was not smart. Casey's trying these wraps with that sauce that I just kind of made up. Mmm. <laughs> mm. No, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, and the I sauce like has sauce. like, like wasabi. wasabi. It's like wasabi tamari. It's like a creamy wasabi tamari yeah. sauce. Yep. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. You got a little spice to it. Mmm. That's like as good as sushi. Okay, mm. now I'm gonna make some and eat it. done making my delicious plate of food. I'm so excited about it. So let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Holy shit. Mmm. Um, that is so good. I'm like confused. <laughs> if you can't tell by my face. Like that is so amazingly delicious. It tastes like sushi. The sauce is almost like, like the, a combination of like the spicy mayo that you get on sushi combined with like the wasabi soy sauce or wasabi tamari or whatever sauce that you dip it in. It's like those two combined. So it straight up just tastes like you're eating sushi and it's so healthy and so delicious and you can eat like a ton of this. This would be good to bring on, on road trips and just slap these together, just bring everything chopped up or camping or to work. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this recipe. You guys have to try it. When you do try it, leave a comment in the comments below and let me know how you like it. And let me know if you added anything else. It would be really good with mango in it. I think that's how she does it on her channel, on the Raw Alignment channel that I mentioned that I was got this inspiration from. But yeah, this is really good, you guys. Like, 100% you should try it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna eat the rest of this because it's that amazing and I just want to like make 50 more of those. <laughs> which I might end up making another one. I made two of them, but um, I might make more, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe video. If you guys try this again, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, give that little thumbs up button a smash so that I know that you liked it and liked this video and I'll keep doing recipe videos for you. And subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. That way you don't miss out on any of my videos. And yeah, I'm gonna eat this, so I'll just see you guys in my next video. Peace out. and chop zucchini. God damn it. <laughs> Keep dropping these shits everywhere.